Where is this guy? He's around the bend. Okay, we just, just don't waste my red shell. Toad, get out of the way, man. There he is. Oh, get him. Get him, yes. Okay, all right. This can, this can work. This can happen. Oh, you, you bastard. Get out of here, Donkey Kong. No! Don't think you can't be eaten, Mario. I will eat you, man. I will eat you like I am Kirby on cheat day. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Super Mario Kart 64. This is the first 3D Mario Kart uh, for the N64, uh, obviously. Although this is only actually the second Mario Kart game ever, and every Mario Kart game subsequently would all be in 3D, so maybe we should really say the first Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo was the only 2D Mario Kart ever to be released. Uh, that would probably be more accurate. Anyway, this is the first uh, game to feature four players. The N64 really started the four-player multiplayer push by allowing four controllers on a single console. Sony never really bought into that. The PlayStation 1 and 2 were both uh, two controller systems, although you could get a multi-tap or whatever. But the Dreamca Dreamcast and Xbox followed uh, Nintendo's course with the uh, you know Xbox and Dreamcast, which had four controller ports. So a lot of people have fond memories of this game playing with their friends. I'm going to be playing alone, giving you guys the single player experience. And yeah. Um, now I guess I can't do a battle because there's no AI in this. So we're only racing. In other Mario Kart games we've played, we've gone to the battle mode and there's AI we can play against. But I guess we didn't quite have AI at this point. Um, let's go into data. That's not what I meant to do. But let's just get out of this. What about options? Let's see, we got stereo. We have sound and stereo or mono, probably. The controller pack and erase all data. All right, that all seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and, head and hop into Mario Kart. Let's do a, a GP and let's try. Oh, God. 50cc just feels like I'm letting you guys down, like I'm, I'm revealing how bad I am at uh, these Mario Kart games. 100cc, though, feels like I'm going to lose. But you know what? I'm okay with losing. It's uh, it's one of the things I'm co I've become comfortable with in video games uh, on this little quest here. So why don't I go ahead and pick 100cc? Oh man, up! I'm not gonna pick the easy setting. Um, and here we go. Now these characters, by the way, although they look 3D, they're all basically rendered in 2D, the same way that uh, Donkey Kong was in Donkey Kong Country. So these are pre-rendered sprites. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, the namesake of the game, Super Mario. We're playing Mario Kart, might as well be Mario. And, uh, yes. Now, I did not have this game growing up. I said many times before, the N64 is a console I just did not have. And that is one of the reasons why I don't have uh, high hopes for my uh, abilities today. I'm thinking, though, that maybe the Flower Cup would be kind of interesting. Because I do like when you're racing on the highway and there's actually trucks and stuff. Star Cup, that one looks kind of interesting too. The castle's kind of cool. Oh, and this one has the iconic Rainbow Road. Maybe we can do some time trials of a few of the other uh, courses, but let's go ahead and hop into Flower Cup and uh, give it a shot here. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's do the easiest Mushroom Cup, and then what I will do is I will selectively try a few of these other ones if I can in the time trial. So that, that's our new plan. You know, I figured the Mushroom Cup maybe is the more iconic has a more iconic uh, track. So for those of you who tuned in for the nostalgia, hopefully this itches your nostalgia buzz, nostalgia buzz or bug by getting to see, uh, you know, genuine original Mushroom Cup action. Now I am playing this game on an ac using an actual N64 controller. I mean, I'm playing it on an N64, but oh, sweet lightning. That is a good one. Um, for those of you who follow my channel, you know I typically use a Retro Fighter 64 controller, which is a more modern N64 style controller, which I happen to prefer. It's more in the style of like most modern controllers. Um, but I thought today, I haven't used a genuine N64 controller in a while, and I thought this would be a great one to uh, give it a shot on. Because the N64 controller, you bastard. Can I hit this guy? You guys think I can hit him with the shell? Let's see if I can line this up. Kaboom! Oh, 
Oh, Wario! Oh, you got so lucky, bro. I keep driving on the uh, dirt, which is not good. Oh, I did hit Donkey Kong, though. Oh, and I dodged that banana. Oh, but I went right into that one. All right, well, we're still second. I can't believe I got him with the banana. That's... I mean, it, it, there was a couple of ricochets and a lot of luck involved in that. But at least we got him. Oh, oh sweet! Oh, you're done, Donkey Kong. Eat it. Uh, fun fact, the 3D model for Donkey Kong was provided by Rare themselves uh, to Nintendo for this game. Um, and actually, here's another fun fact. Did you guys know that although the course is drawn with polygons, the characters and the items are not? <laughs> Donkey Kong, you just did that to yourself, man. Oh, damn it. I hit a banana again. Oh, that was such a delayed Mamma Mia. What's going on there? Man, where is Wario? He just took off. Donkey Kong, beat it, man. Oh, I thought that red shell was gonna get him. Let's see if we can, like, lob some of these at him. Oh, God. Oh, there's Wario. Oh, we're so close. Oh, and he wiped out. This is it. Oh, we're doing it. All right, we're not losing this one. Let's just dump a whole bunch of banana peels behind us. Hopefully wipe them out. Yes, first place. I mean, I got the first place on the very first level of Mario Kart, and I'm proud, but uh, don't take this away from me, guys. Don't take this away. Um, but yeah, so fun fact, uh, even though the course itself is in 3D, none of the characters actually are. The characters are all pre-rendered sprites. Again, in the same way that in Donkey Kong Country, they took 3D models and pre-rendered them, that's what they did here. And they did it basically because the N64 couldn't handle the making the characters like drawing the characters in 3D as well as drawing the course. Um, and it's not super noticeable, I think. Like if, if no one had told me that, I don't think I necessarily would have noticed that the characters weren't, you know, polygonally being drawn. In fact, I probably would have thought like, wow, like the characters look like really good uh, for being on the N64, which is, you know, like these days, certainly not a super powerful polygon rendering machine. Uh, but yeah, it was a little, a little trick that Nintendo pulled on all of us by basically pre-rendering things just like in Donkey Kong Country, which is pretty cool. And it's neat, like, you know, you see the characters from, like, different angles, and you see them from the front and the side and all sorts of stuff. So they, they pre-rendered a ton of different, uh, a ton of variety of, like, angles and, and uh, views of the characters and all that, but it works, man. Oh, God. It fooled us. Oh, man, we're getting such good items. Lightning and stars... This is the first game, I think, that introduced the blue spiny turtle shell. Oh, you dicks. Keep hitting those guys. Okay, let's catch up here. Um, so the blue shell is like the bane of any good player's existence. Basically, it is a shell that uh, somebody who's like fallen behind will pick up. And, uh, oh God, I keep hitting those stupid things. Somebody who's like behind in the race can pick it up and they can uh, use it and it will seek out the person in first place. So it'll fly around the entire map, find the person in first place, and it will just hit them. And I, I think the blue shell is actually pretty unfair. Like I'm not a good player in Mario Kart, but I recognize this is probably an unfair item in the sense of like, if you are battling with somebody else, oh, we just got it, speak of the devil. Let's go ahead and launch that. Uh, so off it goes. It's going to find the person in first place, so Donkey Kong. Oh, but it's too late! Damn it, I didn't realize we were so close to finishing the race. But yeah, if like you and two other people are like battling it out for first place, and you're all really close, and you're about to cross the finish line, the blue shell comes out of nowhere, hits you, and then the second and third place guy get first and second? Like, that sucks. That is, that is not fair. And that is not like a skill-based thing that you can avoid or whatever, you know? Um, so I think the blue shell is unfair from that perspective, but I have also played Mario Kart with friends who like own the game and are like really good at the game and like, you know, you're on like the second lap and they're like a mile ahead of everyone. And in that case, I think the blue shell is totally fair in the sense of like, yeah, how are you supposed to catch a guy like that? We need an item that like singles him out and just like punishes him for being too good. Um, cause I mean, Mario Kart, whoa, 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 where's the course? Okay, there we go. Mario Kart is based on sort of the rubber banding, uh, phenomenon where, um, oh, nice. That actually worked out. 
Whoa, that didn't work out. Oh no, oh no, go, 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 go. Okay, don't, pro tip, don't try and go in there. Because we will fail. Oh my god, Luigi had a star and he wasted one of our, uh, one of our shells. Okay, there we go, this will catch us up. We're totally going for this. Oh, we missed it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh god, okay, we're in the water, <laughs> to the trees. How are we third place? Okay, that, that feels more appropriate, we're fifth. Um, but yes, Mario Kart has always been based on sort of the rubber banding mechanic where when you're really far behind, the AI kind of slows down and, you know, when you're really far ahead, the AI, like, unfairly catches up. So that's like, uh, you know, Mario Kart has always rubber banded the AI. But it it's interesting they tried to, like, find a way to rubber band players as well. We we can we do this? No, we definitely cannot. Oh, maybe I could have if I had just leaned into it. I, I chickened out at the last minute. Um, being in fifth place doesn't feel so bad until you realize that there's only eight people, so it basically means you suck. Ah, oh, damn it. I should stop trying to go for that. This is just screwing me up. I am not looking forward to playing Rainbow Road, by the way. Can I just, can I, can I be honest with you guys for a second? I'm gonna play Rainbow Road because it's Mario Kart and you pretty much have to. But I also am not, it's not, I'm not like anticipating it excitedly or anything like that. I'm kind of thinking like, I'm trying to think of excuses to get out of playing Rainbow Road, honestly. Okay, those shells sucked. Oh, but these, these ones are gonna be much better. I like, I like my odds with the red ones better. Okay, let's stop wasting time. Get these things going. Oh, and I have three mushrooms, too. All right, let's get him. Start mushrooming our way to victory. Come on, we have to get at least second. Oh, well, we're actually doing okay in terms of bobbing and weaving. Okay, I don't even know where the second place guy is. He's not even on the screen. Where was he? So much for rubber banding. I just told you guys how much they rubber band in these Mario Kart games. Second and first place guy are like... They're, they're gone. They, like, went for lunch. You know, they finished the, the track, and they're like, oh, well, these other guys are taking a while. Let's just get the hell out of here. So, all right. So we have our work cut out for us. We have 12 points to the first place. 15 to the first place, guys. 24 points. Donkey Kong is going to win, guys. I, I would have to get first place in the next couple of races, and he would have to do pretty bad. You know what... Another possibility is if I can just make Donkey Kong get, like, last. You know, then that could work. Oh my god, I went right into him. Okay, and I'm last. <laughs> well, my my dastardly uh, plot to somehow sabotage Donkey Kong is not starting off super strong. Okay, I'm going to start... Uh, oh, look at this. Oh, kabam! I just, like, knocked out... Oh, yes! Okay, Wario is first. I will live with Wario being first. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, Donkey Kong was invincible and he went through the train. That is not cool. Oh, he's second. Damn it. You know, for a while there, he wasn't even placing on the boards. I thought we might have a chance of making him last. But I don't know about this now. I need a, I need a blue shell. Come on, blue shell. Okay, Toad is right on my ass. Get over here, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. That's super satisfying. When you've got the three shells spinning around you and an enemy comes up and you just bump into him. Um, in, in the first Mario Kart, there were coins. Whatever happened to coins? I guess they're not a thing anymore. Because uh, I'm just realizing, like, there are no coins to pick up anywhere around here. Um, and in the first Mario Kart 2... Um, oh, god damn it. I'm, like, hitting everything. In the first Mario Kart as well, um, when you bumped into people, they would, like, spit out coins. And I, I, to this day, don't fully understand what coins do in the first Mario Kart. People have told me they make you go faster, but I've never noticed it. Maybe I, I just really am not, like, a connoisseur of Mario Kart and I don't get it, but... I mean, I guess it makes you go faster. I believe people who told me that. I just, I just didn't, never really noticed a difference. It also could be that I, uh... Okay, we're using the star here. It also could be that I myself never got enough coins to actually notice a difference. Okay, where's Donkey Kong? We have the uh, ability to kill him if we can just catch up to him. Oh god, a train. Unfair. Unfair. Where is this guy? He's around the bend. Okay, we just, just don't waste my red shell. Toad, get out of the way, man. There he is. Oh, get him. 
Get him! Yes! Okay. All right. This can this can work. This can happen. Oh, you you bastard! Get out of here, Donkey Kong! No! Oh man, that was okay. Respect, respect. I hate Donkey Kong, but I respect him. That was like battling it out by our hairs. I did everything I could there, guys. Was there something I could have done? So for people who play Mario Kart. Imagine you were in my scenario the, the, the last five seconds of the race. Is there something I could have done there to just edge out Donkey Kong? Because I don't know, like I know in the later uh, Mario Karts you can drift behind people, but I was trying not, like to sort of be in front of him so he couldn't pass me, but it, it was too hard. I just couldn't, I couldn't stop him. I lacked the karting skills, you know. Um, oh, and that was the last race. So yeah, he would have had to come in like last or something for us, for him to get so little points that we would have been able to edge him out, but nah, okay. Donkey Kong, you're a hell of an opponent. I hate you, but I certainly respect you. Who came in third? I wasn't even, I was not even paying attention. It's like Toad or something, probably. Um, hard to see. So super pixelated. It's like, here comes the big reveal as the pixelation goes away. Who is it? Is it Princess? Oh, it's Wario. <laughs> Jeez. Man, you know the pixelation is bad when you confuse Wario for the princess. Um, all right, Donkey Kong. Hell of an opponent, but you've earned this. It's like the end of Private Ryan. I, like, grab him by the shoulder, look him deeply in the eyes, and I'm like, earn this. You know, don't let it, don't let down the Mushroom Kingdom, man. You're now an ambassador. The, the king of the Mario Kart Mushroom Cup. All right. And does this end? We just get to watch this spin eternally in front of us, spitting out stars. I like how every time you play a match of Mario Kart, it randomly picks out a bunch of enemies for like to fill out the, the rest of the opponents. And it, the computer decides like one or two of them are going to be really good. Like if we played the Mushroom Cup again, I bet you Donkey Kong wouldn't even place. You know, like he'll be in the back somewhere, like sucking it up, like being horrible at the game. But like this time, like Luigi and Peach are like out of control. You know, like every time you play, this is true of every Mario Kart game. The computer like randomly decides who's going to be on fire this time around. Um, I felt like 100cc was doable, so I'm going to stick with that. So here, like this time around, like Donkey, it's not like Donkey Kong is always good at the game. Um, this time, let's be, let's be Yoshi. Everyone loves Yoshi. He's a nice, huggable dinosaur. He likes to eat things like Kirby. It's kind of like if Kirby and a T-Rex had a baby. You know, I said we would try some individual uh, races, but I mean, that one was so short. Why don't we just try the flower cup and see where we're at after that? See how we do. If we do horrible, then maybe it's time to bust out the individual races. Everyone knows that you hold down go like at a certain point when uh, Lakitu is doing the countdown. I always mess it up as I did right there. I think I didn't mention it, but when I was playing the Mushroom Cup, I think I uh, successfully did it once or twice. All right, so Toad looks to be one of the main contenders this time around. And Bowser, potentially. Like, Bowser's on fire. Bowser's like, you know what? Today, I'm not going to suck. I'm going to be good for once. And we might, we might even pass someone. Oh, no, that was a car. I thought we were, like, getting ready to lap someone. Oh, man. Oh, Mario hit a car. Uh, okay, we don't need those. And let's just dodge between these. We're right into the back of one crap. And then there goes our lead. Oh, but Peach and Mario are doing, aren't doing very much better than us. Yikes. Oh, there. <laughs> Sweet. Somehow this track is actually helping. Me. Whoa, wait. How did Wario get ahead of me? How did that happen? Oh, he just ate every single one of my bananas. Every banana peel. Okay, where's Waru? He's like, he's up ahead. I wish you could see like further in this game. Like I wish the draw distance was a little better. Because I have to look at the radar to kind of figure out where he is. Like he's up there somewhere. Maybe one of those shells will hit him. Oh, there he is. Okay, well, I tried to fire a shell at him. Now I'm just driving beside my own shell here. Oh, damn it. God damn it. Oh, now Mario's in first place. Man, who who is good at this game at the moment? Oh, I was going to say, it's like Mario and Wario and 
It just keeps trading off Mario, Wario, and Peach. It's like whoever whoever does not get hit by the car is the person in first place. I guess the AI is not very good at this level either. AI is actually letting me down on this. I mean, come on, AI. I thought you were better than this. Boom. Eat it, Mario. Oh, eat it, Wario. Oh, there's all my bananas from last time. Are we going to get first place? Yes. Oh, no, it's the final lap. Okay. I can do this. Oh, God. Okay. You know, not slowing down really slow and not hitting a car is better than actually hitting a car. That's what I've learned. Like, if you if you got to slow down and not hit a car, just do it. I guess it's the same rules in real life. If, if you got to slow down to not hit a car, you might as well do it. It's a pro driving tip from me. There's a guy right on my tail. He's like, you can see him like coming up on my radar. He's like throwing banana peels at me. What a dick. Oh, Wario. Is it you, bro? Yeah, we're going to do the pro pro strat of like dragging an item behind us. Oh, damn it. Oh, this is going to cost me. No, no. Oh, thank God he hit the trucks too. Okay. Oh my God, we hit it again. This is horrible. We were first place for like a lap and a half. Oh my god, we're not we're not even gonna place now. This is ridiculous. Third. Come here, Wario. Oh! My red shells! They just pinged off the wall. Third! Oh, that is some great A bullshit, man. We were first! Oh, Mario Peach. What? How did Luigi get fourth? Oh, I guess I really screwed over Wario there. Alright, well you know what? We got screwed over, but at least we screwed someone over in return. You know, when life screws you over, guys, just look at who's below you in the totem pole and screw them over, and that's how you make the world a better place. If we all just continue to screw over people below us, then, I don't know, it'll all work out in some, in some way, right? Like, I Don't think about it too much. All right, our goal now is to get ahead of Mario. We did it. We've achieved our goals. Our next goal is to enjoy this uh, Christmas scenery around us. And then to, uh, whoa, stay on the road is another goal. So maybe Mario will turn out to not be one of the good players and it won't matter that he has some points. Uh, or maybe, oh god. Oh my god, these snowmen explode. That is not good. That is not good. Oh god, we're like fifth. Well, you know, if I learned anything from the last uh, map, it doesn't matter what place you're in until the last lap, so who cares? Jesus, we're like seventh. Okay, maybe it matters a little what place you're in for, like, confidence reasons, you know? You're like, you don't want to feel too bad about yourself. You bastard. You bastards. You're all dropping obstacles. You all suck. When I become first place, when I become the master of all Mario Karters, I'm going to have a bunch of people executed. That's all I can say. You people enjoy being dicks to me now. Let me tell you what Yoshi does with his enemies. He eats them, and then he poops them out as eggs. So if you want to be pooped out as an egg, you keep you keep screwing around. You see what happens. You will see what happens, my friend. All right, they seem to have been lulled into fear from that little uh, diatribe there. So I think they're letting me have first place for right now. They're like, yo, back off. Yoshi is effing nuts. He's talking about eating us all. Bastard. Wario has no fear, though. Mario has no fear. Oh, God. Don't think you can't be eaten, Mario. I will eat you, man. I will eat you like I am Kirby on cheat day. Oh, good. I think he wiped out and hit a snowman. It is actually harder to race while you're dragging an item, I find, personally. But it is the pro strategy. Um, I have friends who are actually good at Mario Kart, and I just sort of copy what they do whenever I can. This is something they do. So it must it must serve a purpose, right? I think in the later Mario Karts, if someone is shooting a red shell at you, these things will, like, block it. But we're actually doing really good here at the moment. If I can just not screw up for, like, another 10 seconds. Oh, Wario. Oh, thank God for that banana peel. All right, we're dropping things. Yes! First place! All right, so Mario is going to be a contender. Mario and Wario seem to be the contenders. Donkey Kong is hanging in there. I said Donkey Kong would suck the next time we play, but, like, he's kind of proving me to be a liar. He's not, he's not like, placing really well, but he's, 
he's in there. He's he's in the mix fighting around, you know. So Mario's still beating us hardcore because we got third. Who else has points? Peach has points, but she was eighth. So I like that because that means she got some second place points in the first round, but they don't mean anything because she is not winning. So, all right. If we can get... If we can screw over Mario on this course, then I think we have it in the bag. And off we go. That was not the super start. Again, I don't know exactly. It's like on the second count, on the second count when his like hand is up. What the hell was that, Red Shell? Jesus. The Red Shells in this version I find are a little more finicky than in previous versions. Previous versions a Red a Red Shell is like a guaranteed kill. But in this, it sort of seems like the red shells sometimes go, nope, and just fly into a wall. They're like, nah, you don't need the free kill. They're like, you're doing well enough. Man, we, me, me, me and these two other guys, we are like, this is this is the winner's bracket right here. We are, we are racing. Oh, man, we're trading spots left and right. Oh, God, I think Mario wiped out, which is good. Wario, you did a good thing, sir. I will give you first place, Wario, if you can screw over Mario. I'm like making illicit deals with Wario now. Toad, I have no beef with you. You have no points. I don't care if, if you win this race. Oh, God. I'm all over the place. Oh, Mario. Okay, here you go, Mario. Oh, that actually hit him. <laughs> oh, that never happens. All right, that, that's how you play Mario Kart, people. You play with no fear, and, and you're not here to make friends. Mario Kart is here to end friendships. Oh, yes. Screw Mario over more. I think he fell into the cliff. All right, I'm happy. So see, I, I've gone from just trying to screw everyone to trying to strategically screw one or two players, and I think that's the way you gotta play. Oh God. Oh God, Mario, get away from me. Oh, I just hit him with a thousand banana peels. How does Mario keep catching up? Why don't the other AIs pass? Somebody else pass Mario, please. How is he still in third? I think Luigi and him have like a non-aggression pact or something. Oh my God, we got first place. I don't need it, and I wasn't expecting it, but I will take it. Okay, get out of here, Mario. I was saving the lightning for when you decided to make your move. Because I uh, don't like the competition, son of a bitch. Go, go, go. Do not let Mario catch up whatever you do. Oh, Mario was right on my tail. Okay, so that means he's got enough points from being second place that we're probably tied right now, which means we have to... Not let him win the next race. We don't have to win as long as he gets worse place than us. We should we should win. Yeah, look at this. 21 and 21. This is a nail biter, guys. And no one else is even close. So I don't I don't care who comes in. I don't care who beats me or Mario. It's just I have to beat Mario. Um I wonder though, if Mario and I both do really bad and we get zero points, who wins in that scenario? It's just a tie, I guess. But I don't know how the computer deals with it all right so we're off to a good start and we'll start dragging this thing behind us oh bastard okay I only care about Mario I'm lasered in on him okay we don't have an item Wario do something man yes Wario you're a prince I love you you have a seat in Yoshi's glorious new Mario Kart Kingdom. Man, I'm all over the road. Luigi, how are you, sir? You know what? If it's me, Wario, and Luigi all in front of Mario, that is awesome. It's also like Mario's best friends and worst enemies have teamed up. Wario, his brother, and Yoshi are all against him. Let's go ahead and uh, start using these red shells on the person who needs them. It's good old Mario. I like how like we were Mario last time, and now Mario's turned into a formidable force. I like to think the AI was like, you know what? You were such a good player that I think you made me reevaluate just how good Mario could actually be. And I think he's, uh, you know, the best best racer out there. Which, of course, is totally true. We rocked a lot. I mean, we only came in second last time. But it looks like Mario's going to... looks like history is about to repeat itself. And uh, Mario's about to get second again. Oh, he's not... He's like fifth right now. Oh, you bastard. Okay, here, I have another red shell. He has taken so many red shells, it is unbelievable to me that he is still sort of in contention. Like, oh my god, and now he's invincible? Okay, we'll wait for that to run out, and then we have three more shells for you, buddy. 
If you somehow pull this out, then I would say you deserve it and that you've earned it. Okay, we not only have red shells, but we can also burst our way past him if he catches it. Yes! See you, Mario! We did it! <laughs> somehow Bowser came in first. What was that about? There's so much variability in this, uh, this uh, cup here. Where, like, last place people were suddenly getting first. Wario was consistently up there. It was me, Mario, and Wario. We were the, the three contenders. And I... Fine. I've redeemed myself, guys. So if I lose on the easier cup, the mushroom cup, but I win on the harder cup, the flower cup, then by the transit of property, didn't I also now also win on the mushroom cup, right? Like, you know, we can retcon the previous cup as a win as well. Like, if you win on the special cup, you don't even have to play the other cups. You just automatically assume you can win. Ah, uh, here's my glorious celebration. Now I now Yoshi's gonna ride Mario. No longer will Yoshi be Mario's steed. Bend over, Mario. Yoshi wants to ride around on you and have you eat random berries and enemies. I'm no longer second fiddle to that stinking plumber. Wario is once again in contention. Maybe Wario is like the secret, you know, hidden gem of this game. Because he was third place last time, too. He's not getting first or second, but he is consistently like holding his own. He's got moves, guys. Wario's got some moves. This fish is gonna... Oh, I thought the fish would... Explodes. A giant floating fish comes down from the heavens, spits out a floating trophy that hovers in front of the first, second, and third place victors as random psychedelic stars flutter down to the ground and everyone just thinks this is normal. This is what happens in the Mushroom Kingdom when a bunch of people race around on... Uh, go-karts so yes this isn't even like formula one racing like where's mario kart nascar where like the adults race this is just like a bunch of kids on a saturday racing all right so we have done two of the cups let's see if we can do a, a time trial and see what we got going on here so why don't we well, let's pick toad i always like toad he's a wily, wily fast little guy Okay, we can pick different courses. So I do want to try the castle level. And I want to try the jungle level with the bridge and rainbow road. Those will be the last three. We're going to make our own cup, guys. We're going to put our string together our own three or four uh, races. So first, let's try Bowser's castle. Oh, no, I should have made this the last level. Oh, no, wait. Rainbow road should be the last. Okay. Oh, and this time around, there's no other racers? What? Really? Well, that's kind of disappointing kind of lame actually so you can't oh god i'm like ping-ponging all how do, how do you reverse oh god what what happened oh god oh oh my god oh wait how do you how do you reverse what button reverses i'm so confused i'm like changing my camera i'm saving data okay <laughs> that was the most embarrassing thing ever i'm gonna retry this course i just want to race this course um just to see it. Oh, there we go. That was the good start. Okay, so I just want to like see this course because Bowser's castles are pretty iconic racing courses in Mario Kart. And actually, it's a sort of nice casual race. There's nobody's trying to kill me. There's no giant apes trying to drop stuff on me or plumbers that. Oh God, Al. These thwomps, though, they are my they are my opponents here. The environment has become my opponent. Um, I guess what we will do blah, 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 is uh, we will we will race the special cup. Why not after this? I don't know what, what's happening with the outline of my screen because it's like a big uh, portrait is being drawn around the racing. I guess it's showing me the progress I have left to go. Um, you know one thing that, that I kind of notice in these, in, in these early 3D Mario games is that... It kind of feels like your character has been shrunk. Like in the first Mario Kart, um, I got the feeling that it's like you were just sort of, uh, you know, racing around some go-karts in the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, but in the later Mario Karts, but the, the later but earlier ones, so like this one, um, where things were 3D, I always felt like the, the textures were a little too big. Like those bricks are huge. Like look how big those bricks are, right? Those are huge. It makes me feel like I'm tiny. 
It makes me feel like this path, this road that I'm on is like a garden path and like a normal sized person would walk along it like a sidewalk. But somehow it's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids has happened in the Mushroom Kingdom and I've been shrunk down to like a tiny person. Like that's what it feels like to me. Um, and I think it is a, a function of the textures having to be really big in these early 3D games because they didn't have the memory to do like, uh, you know, really detailed textures. So uh, yeah, I, I always got like this. I feel I totally feel like a shrunk down bug in this castle right now, like in this room. It feels ginormous and it's ginormous and empty, which makes me feel like it can't just be this much dead space. I have to be tiny for it to make sense. I don't know if I am making sense, but just wanted to share that little observation with you guys. Oh my God, he melted in lava. And he gets to come right back though. Oh, we're, we screwed up. We spun out. I'm, I'm tired of you screwing up, Toad. This is the last time, buddy. I don't know who's talking right now. I guess it's me, Gaming J. This is the only time Toad has ever let me down, and I've, I've had it up to here with him. I, I did not, I didn't give him the courtesy three strikes. He was on a one strike policy. But you know, you expect more from uh, humanized mushroom creatures, so. Um, anyway, we won. In a race of zero, we came in first, somehow. So that means uh, we were one of zero, so our placing was infinite, infinitely good. Obviously, you're supposed to uh, try and race for the best times in the time trials. But that's boring. And we're not here for boring. We're going to race on... Nah, I was going to say we'll race on 50cc on the hardest cup, but I'll stick with 100. Why not? Let's have the challenge. And... Okay, Wario is aching to be picked. He just keeps coming in third. I think he, the computer really wants me to pick him. I'm really bad with the big characters, but that's okay. We will figure it out. Wario Stadium. We're not going to race Wario and Wario Stadium. That's rigging the game too much. We're going for this very precariously, very precarious set of uh, tracks that have a lot of pits. That is probably going to work out really well for me. Um, and that uh, we're going to do amazing on. And off we go. Oh, Wario got the burst. Oh, look at this. Uh, what is that? Like a, a steamboat? One of those, like, uh, casino river boats. It's hilarious. Oh, now we got Bowser and Donkey Kong are going to be my main rivals, eh? What about this? Oh, my God! Oh, my God. I can't believe we made that. I thought I was definitely going in the water. Okay, somebody got a banana and killed the other guy instantly. So, it's just me and you now, Donkey Kong. This was uh, very reminiscent of the, the earlier races. Ugh, he keeps taking the power-up I want. Go, go get on that riverboat, man. Go do some light gambling. Diddy Kong's waiting for you. Leave the race into the big boys. Me and Donkey Kong. God damn it. They keep taking all the power-ups. I can't get a single power-up. Oh, here we are on the bridge. Ping-ponging my way across. Okay. Oh, I drove through every single power-up and into the wall. That's how you want it. That's how you live, guys. That's how you want to do things. Somehow I'm still second. Um, and I got edged out right as we crossed the finish line. Get out of here. Okay, my first power-up of the game is mushrooms. You can use that to catch up to Donkey Kong here. Where did he go? Seriously, where is he? I have no idea. Oh my god! Oh. There we go. Oh, we did pass him. Oh, sweet. Alright. Now if we just don't screw up should have this. I kind of heard him getting wiped out. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, well we didn't get another item. Damn it. I feel like once the AI is like on your tail, you really need to get like item after item after item to like constantly like knock them back. Like this is a good start. Let's drop a couple of these. <laughs> we'll grab this thing. Oh, that wasn't the final lap. Oh, I was like, oh, sweet, we won, right? But no, that was not the final lap. Okay, we got him. We'll take it. Ooh, we got a red shell, too. So things go... So this is our little insurance policy if things go wrong. And we'll just plant the red shell right up somebody's tailpipe and uh, all will be good in the world. Now that I know that, like, Donkey Kong and Bowser are kind of like my main contenders, I am... Hoping 
that Toad catches up. Okay, there we go. Hold this thing behind me. What I want is one of the third or fourth place guys to get second place in this race here. Oh, God! Damn it. Oh! The best power-up I could have been expected! Yes! There's no way you're passing me now, buddy! There's no way! Hey, here, I have a few shells. Yeah! <laughs> Those shells are gonna fly off and hit the seventh and eighth place guy. They're gonna be like, what the hell, man? You're first? Why would you need to pick on us? It's so unfair. There, we did it. Cha-ching! Okay, so Donkey Kong is a contender. I thought Bowser was actually gonna be the the other major opponent, but I guess not. Okay, so our strategy is to now make Donkey Kong screw up pretty bad. If we can get first place again while simultaneously screwing over Donkey Kong, we might actually have a shot at this. I feel like I was never this strategic back when I was a kid playing Mario Kart. What are those question marks? Oh, okay. Um, like when I was a kid, I think I would just play and I wouldn't think about like uh, who's getting first, who's getting second, who do I want to get first and points and all that. I would just play and my goal was to always get first. But I think like as an adult now, like sort of playing this game again, I'm realizing like, yeah, like, oh, thank you, Luigi. Thank you. Um, you really do kind of have to think about like who's going to get how many points and for what. And that kind of dictates how you want to play a little bit. Oh, shoot. Like, for instance, the old me would have uh, let Mario pass here and then hit him with a red shell and laughed maniacally. But the new me recognizes what is happening here. I got squished by an egg. Oh, my God. The new me recognizes that Donkey Kong is the one I need to punish. Oh, Luigi! God damn it. So it's like there's no real benefit to taking out Luigi or anything right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I was going to say, if I can catch up to uh, Donkey Kong... But I need better items. So there is a benefit to getting rid of that. Um, this sort of helps, I guess. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Okay, we need better items. We need uh, lightning. Lightning is what I want. Look at that. Oh. oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this is like a preview of uh, Rainbow Road. You guys can see exactly what's going to happen. There's enough uh, barriers here to protect me from just flying off the edge of the course. But use your imagination. You'll see what's going to happen. Okay, there's a giant spinning egg here. Oh, god damn it. Jesus, that is so punishing. It makes you watch the entire fall. I'm like eighth. I'm like eighth. Why is it also like playing it all mysterious? It's like, I don't know who's in first, second, or third. You're gonna have to wait and see. It's like I'm in third. I know. You can you can be honest with me. Uh, or no, I'm not. I'm not in third. I'm in eighth. Okay, I, I have an idea. It's radical. Hear me, hear me out, guys. If Donkey Kong comes in seventh, and this whole race is a wash, so I'm I'm clearly coming in eighth. No, no, no! Don't go in reverse. We're strategizing here, people. This is unconventional. Oh, we gotta go past the finish line to catch him. We gotta catch him before he gets to the finish line. And we gotta screw him over real bad. Okay, so where is he? Where's this bastard? I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but here comes somebody. It's probably him. Boom! All right, that's all we can do. Somebody pass this bastard! Somebody pass this bastard! Ah! Stop! Stop! Oh my god. Alright, our unconventional strategy not only failed, not only failed, but uh, is going to prevent us from getting any points this round. Oh god. Where are we? We're like driving in the farmer's fields. I, I can't drive forward. What is happening? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to reverse in this game. How do you reverse? Let me just do this. There we go. Okay, I got out of it. Well, now we're on a victory lap. Um, I'm not feeling good about this cup. I feel like we really screwed up. I think we're in a lot of trouble. I also think we're not taking the most efficient paths through this mountain. I think there were probably better paths we could have taken. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> How many people have three 
red shells flying around them and the star and go flying off a cliff at the same time. That is super embarrassing. Oh, I'm going in reverse again. Guys, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't, don't look at me. Don't watch this. I should have ended this uh, video on the flower cup and you guys would have been like, wow, like, you know, he didn't grow up with the game, but, you know, he like stuck with it and tried and kind of thought about it strategically. And yeah, like he kind of pulled it out. Like, good for Jay. Oh, we're getting squished by this egg. Oh, no, we made it through. Sweet. But now I don't even want to think about what you guys are thinking about me because I know it's, it's not going to be good. Okay, screw, about, screw driving on the road. Let's just end this race. Donkey Kong is there again. You dick. He's just there to rub it in our nose that we are clearly uh, going to lose this one. We're going to lose this one. Um, let's, let's not focus on the race. How about, uh, oh, we can retry. Oh, interesting. Oh, so you have to get like first, second, or third to even go forward? Oh, okay. You know, we were doing so good, we didn't realize that was a requirement because uh, it's never come up before. Okay, the first, that was the practice round. We've got all the, the bad plays out of our system. I'm gonna start trying to find a better course through this. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Uh, what the hell are these things? Why didn't I see those things last time? Oh, Donkey Kong, don't you dare. I do not have, I don't have the time nor the patience for you right now, Donkey Kong. He's like yelling at me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. At least we're holding our own with him this time around. Okay, and we are going right in there. And we got an item, we got a mushroom. Oh, what, what hit us? What, Bowser just faded into nothing. I guess his parents didn't go to the enchantment under the sea dance. Oh, he's back. All right. Um, oh, we got a red shell, too. Oh, come on, red shell. Oh, what the hell is this? No one can drive that. That's impossible. Oh, how many retries do we get? Because we... What the... Ah, damn it! Mario, you suck! Like we're not okay. Hold on, we're not we're not winning this race. Oh wait, do we do we get a chance? Ah, oh, we don't. Okay, well let's do this. You know, <laughs> clearly we we weren't meant to race on uh we we're meant to race on the uh, Star Cup. We're never gonna make it. Let's try Donkey Kong. You know what? Let's let's just give in to fate. Donkey Kong was such a dick to us the whole time. Let's become him. And let's see how good of a job he does at Rainbow Road here as we wrap, we, uh, sort of wrap things up. But all right, three, two, one, go! And off we go. Rainbow Road, AKA Jay's Nightmare. Track that is just going to brutalize me even though it's only me racing. We all know that. Um, I, I had a few other trivia points sort of jotted down here. In fact, actually maybe it's just one. Um, hey, there's barriers on Rainbow Road? That's new, I thought. There were no barriers. Well, maybe I could have raced this. Oh God, a giant chomp chomp. Um, here's one other fun fact about this game. Its development game was called Mario Kart R and the R stood for rendered. So Nintendo knew right from the bat that they wanted to make a polygonal uh, Mario Kart. So yeah, they were, it was built right into the name. And then I guess, you know, it took on the naming convention of how like every single N64 game was something 64. This 64, this 64, Bomberman 64, Superman 64, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, like everything was 64. It's kind of funny, actually. Like even to these, like it was great branding. Like even to this day, you know a Nintendo 64 game just from its title. You know, you don't need, you, there's no question about it. Anything 64 is an N64 game. Maybe in like a thousand years when, you know, we've had like Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 64, then there'll be some confusion. But until we get to the actual 64th sequel of a game, I don't think you gotta worry about uh, that 64 number. Um, it means 64 bits, guys. Nintendo is the victor of the bit wars, you know, like 16 versus 32 bit. And then the, the Jaguar was like, we're 64 bit. Nintendo's like, here's a 64 bit system. And everyone was like, what? And they were like, Jaguar sucks, and that was the end of that. So Nintendo like branded it into their system. They're like, 
like there. The, this this is a 64 system. You want 64 bits? Here you go. Um, I have heard the Nintendo Jag or not the Nintendo Jaguar. The Atari Jaguar is technically a 64-bit system in some ways, but in many other ways it is not. So. Um, all right, we did one lap. All oh, these stupid chomp chomps. This track is not nearly as bad as I thought it was. In fact, I would say this track is actually way easier than the one we were just playing. I think that that cavern one, you know, the canyon one, is the one that would have given me the most trouble. The chomp chomps are a little annoying, but uh, it's not that bad, actually. I've done worse. <laughs> I've done worse. Um, oh, here's another fun trivia fact about this game. Apparently, you can get this game's soundtrack on a cassette tape. Or you could back in the day. Uh, that is just hilarious for me to think about. I mean, you know, you think about, like, old technology, like, cassette tapes. You know, like, that's ancient. Like, uh, people haven't used that since, like, I was in high school. And even then, people were onto CDs. It was like, I was in grade school. Like, that's old, man. But uh, I guess this game came out... Uh, at a time when you could also get the soundtrack on CD, I think. But you could also get it. It might have only been in Japan. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I read you can get its soundtrack. You could have gotten its soundtrack on cassette tape. So if, for you kiddies listening, you don't know what a cassette tape is, look it up. Google it. Look, watch a video on YouTube. You'll be like, wow, that was a thing. People used to transcribe music onto magnetic tape and then run it back through a playback device to hear audio sequences of different frequencies and pitches bizarre everything's just ones and zeros now it's all digital although i guess cassettes were also ones and zeros it wasn't an analog format i don't think anyway could be wrong on that um here's one last trivia fact that i will lay on you folks back in the day this game was not as warmly received as you might have thought it was actually considered relatively divisive among critics um so people you know, said some some nice things about it, like the polygons, the 3D and stuff. But then there were also some criticisms that there weren't enough courses. The courses were just sort of remakes of the original Mario Kart. It sort of was lacking some of the charm, and the rubber banding AI was annoying. And uh, the blue shell, people were not necessarily a fan of the blue shell. It's kind of interesting, because when I was getting ready to play this game today, I was like, oh yeah, Mario Kart 64... One of the most iconic Mario Karts, even though I didn't have an N64, I knew about it, I played it, everyone played it, I played it with friends, uh, you know, occasionally when I went to people's houses and stuff. Yeah, like, one of the most iconic Mario Karts of all time. And then I read, it was somewhat divisive as a game. And I was like, really? Like, it's hard to imagine. Um, and I think, like, playing this game now, uh, I do agree that there aren't that many tracks. The battle mode is only for other humans which is how the original mario kart was it was one-on-one -on -one. this is four player battle mode which is actually an improvement and awesome but it would be cool to have ai so like for instance we could have tried the battle mode here today uh just uh, just just me for you guys um so yeah i kind of get it like i don't disagree necessarily with what the critics were saying and and things like you know saying like the polygons were unnecessary i think that's my feel that it feels like you've been shrunk down sometimes in some of the courses because the way the textures are drawn, it just makes the rooms feel massive. And it's sort of like, is this really better than just the Mode 7 Super Nintendo faux 3D effect? I don't know if it is necessarily. It definitely was sort of a, a necessary step in the future of video games because if you look at how Mario Kart has evolved, it's continued down the 3D course. I mean, obviously it would, because it's a you know racing game. It should be in 3D. Um, and things have gotten better and better and better. But as the first one, it might have suffered from a bit of, uh, you know, feeling a little gimmicky. Like, why bother to make it in 3D? Just make another Mario Kart in 2.5D, sort of using Nint the Super Nintendo's Mode 7 kind of uh, trick. But I think ultimately was the right choice to go to 3D. It's just it might have been a little too early for people to fully appreciate. So... Um, yeah, I think as far as gameplay goes, though, like, it's a solid game. Um, I was playing on the original N64 controller, which I've never fully liked, because it has that weird sort of dongle down the middle you have to hold, but actually, I found it fine today. Besides not being able to figure out how to reverse, I thought it was fine. My thumbs are a little sore from pressing, from holding that A button so hard. I find when I race, sometimes I hold it, like, extra hard, like you're trying to go extra fast, but it doesn't matter how hard you're holding the button, really. I could be holding it, like, as gentle as a feather. 
Um, oh, and speaking of feathers, they almost included the feather from Mario Kart, the first Mario Kart, um, as a power-up in this game, but they decided not to. It was in the early prototype, Mario Kart R, but they took it out of the final game for some reason, so yeah. I think the feather was only ever in the first Mario Kart. It's never come back since, which I, I think it should. It was cool to be able to jump, but I guess it's not useful in these 3D games. Anyway, uh, any other trivia? Any other trivia? I think that is pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Um, this has been Mario Kart 64, uh, one of the games in the book, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. And despite any kind of divisiveness it, that might have arisen when this game came up, came out, I think it's safe to say that it ultimately was a classic. It was played a hell of a lot. A whole bunch of friends and, and children played this, inc myself included. It's still a fun game that holds up. Um, and though, you know, it's not perfect and there are some criticisms you could levy at it, it is way too iconic of a game to leave out of the 1001 book. So I 100% agree that it's it's in it made the cut. Um, in terms of like, is this a game you must play before you die? You know, I think, as I say, it does hold up. I would say if you have a friend or a couple of friends and you want to play some battle mode or just uh, competitive races, um, definitely worth checking out. And yeah, I kind of feel like that's all there is to say. You know, I mean, you know, going back for a second to say, like, this game should be in the 1001 book. Like, can you imagine if they decided to leave it out because they said it was too divisive for some reason? And then they included other Mario Kart games. I feel like that would be an error on the book's part where people would be like, what? Like, why are you including later Mario Kart games? What about the first polygonal 3D game on the N64? You know, the first one I remember playing with my friends, the first four player Mario Kart game that we battled and raced with one another all Saturday afternoon in our basements. What about that one? So, yes, I think this game uh, should be in the book. Uh, but those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of Mario Kart 64? Is it a game that you yourself have some fun memories battling it out with friends or playing the multiplayer matches or just playing by yourself? Do you feel it is a bit of a short game in retrospect and maybe it's not worth coming back to? Or do you still think it would be a lot of fun for kids, even you know people who've never played this game before, like kids, coming and trying it for the first time? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, whether you do like Mario Kart 64 or not, not. hopefully you've enjoyed today's video hopefully you've had some fun watching me battle it out with these other turkeys and uh, if you have don't forget to like the video and all that jazz and uh, that's it uh, i will see you guys soon with another video and another game so don't forget to tune back in until next time my friends you all take care of yourselves and peace what the ah, damage